Mathematics is the key and door to the sciences. Passion is the genesis of genius. The book of nature is written in the language of mathematics. To understand the universe, you must understand the language in which it's written, the language of mathematics. Nature's great book is written in mathematics. Measure what is measurable, and make measurable what is not so. I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. I've loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. We cannot teach people anything, we can only help them discover it within themselves. All truths are easy to understand once they are discovered, the point is to discover them. If I were again beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. You cannot teach a person something he does not already know, you can only bring what he does know to his awareness. I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God who has endowed us with sense, reason, and intellect has intended us to forego they. God is known by nature in his works, and by doctrine in his revealed word. The Bible shows the way to go to heaven, not the way the heavens go. Knowing thyself, that is the greatest wisdom. Two truths cannot contradict one another. Where the senses fail us, reason must step in. The greatest wisdom is to get to know oneself. Wine is sunlight, held together by water. You can't teach anybody anything, only make them realize the answers are already inside them. The sun, with all those planets revolving around it and dependent on it, can still ripen a bunch of grapes as if it had nothing else in the universe to do. What has philosophy got to do with measuring anything? It's the mathematicians you have to trust, and they measure the skies like we measure a field. You may force me to say what you wish, you may revile me for saying what I do. But it moves. See now the power of truth. By denying scientific principles, one may maintain any paradox. The Milky Way is nothing else but a mass of innumerable stars planted together in clusters. In questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. It is a beautiful and delightful sight to behold the body of the moon. There are those who reason well, but they are greatly outnumbered by those who reason badly. Nothing occurs contrary to nature except the impossible, and that never occurs. Who would dare assert that we know all there is to be known? See now the power of truth, the same experiment which at first glance seemed to show one thing, when more carefully examined, 
assures us of the contrary. If you could see the earth illuminated when you were in a place as dark as night, it would look to you more splendid than the moon. Nature is relentless and unchangeable, and it is indifferent as to whether its hidden reasons and actions are understandable to man or not. Science proceeds more by what it has learned to ignore than what it takes into account. Names and attributes must be accommodated to the essence of things and not the essence to the names, since things come first and names afterwards. <laughs>